So, with the traditional medical system failing, what are your options? That's where Wendy comes in. She was rushed to the hospital in an ambulance after the fall. Fortunately, she only suffered a severe concussion and a mild skull fracture. There was no bleeding into her brain or other permanent damage, which too many people experience after vertigo falls. But Wendy knew she might not be so lucky next time. It wasn't her first fall. She began to experience mild vertigo in her early 40s. Little by little, the attacks became more frequent and severe. Sometimes they came with nausea, but not always. At first, she wrote them off as nothing serious. But as her functions became more limited, her worries grew. Driving was the first thing to go. After almost causing a multi-car high-speed accident, she didn't dare touch a vehicle again. She felt horrible as this really limited her mobility. That's when her isolation began to develop. But she isolated rather out of shame than actual need. It was just too embarrassing to have people stare at her when she had to sit down on the floor and hold her head when the spinning, dizzy feeling came. Or when she became white as a ghost with a cold sweat running down her back, zigzagging like a drunk person. But she didn't drink. It was her balance system. Her friends kept asking if she was okay, but she just wanted to be left alone. Wendy received three different diagnoses. She's no quitter. When one doctor didn't work, she sought another, and another, and another. From three doctors she was diagnosed with, Meniere's disease, low blood pressure. Then the third doctor said her vertigo was caused by the medication she took for Meniere's disease and low blood pressure. Of course, these well-meaning professionals had no solutions, and the medication she was prescribed only made the problem worse. She was on the edge when the miracle happened. As fate would have it, Wendy's best friend knew me personally. And since I'm well-known in the natural health field, she asked me to sit down with Wendy. I didn't have much knowledge of vertigo and dizziness at the time, so I didn't think anything would come from our meeting. It was a favor to a friend. But when I saw how much Wendy was suffering, I almost cried. Before we go further, I should introduce myself. My name is Christian Goodman. I've made it my life mission to help and educate people about alternative health solutions. I'm the author of several books and thousands of published research articles. I spend most of my time researching and writing. But most importantly, I work with hundreds of people all over the world to test out different solutions for their health issues. This led me to discover natural solutions for some of the most notorious diseases in the modern world. Up to this point, however, I hadn't paid much attention to vertigo, so I was afraid I wouldn't be much help. But then something weird happened. Wendy was about to leave when she, by the way, mentioned that her husband often complained about her snoring. Thrilled to be able to provide some help, I gave her a copy of my extremely effective Stop Snoring Exercises program. It includes simple exercises that loosen up and strengthen the muscles around the breathing passages, including the jaws, tongue, ears, and eyes. I didn't even think about it, but these are, of course, the same exact muscles that connect to the balance system in the ears and eyes. For the next couple of weeks, I researched vertigo and dizziness heavily. Unfortunately, there was no reliable solution available. Then came the letter. I guess Wendy felt it was more formal to write a snail mail thank you note than sending an email. And she was not just thanking me for curing her snoring, as I expected. Surprisingly, her vertigo and dizziness spells were also almost gone. Now, when I get obsessed about something, I don't sleep, eat, or do much of anything other than research. And you can bet that was the case for weeks after receiving Wendy's letter. Imagine if we could beat the number one complaint doctors receive. If we could, prevent millions of injuries, falls, and broken bones. We're talking about helping billions of people. So within a few days, I had 20 vertigo patients signed up to work with me. Unfortunately, I quickly found that the snoring exercises needed quite a bit of tweaking before they would help most people's vertigo. However, the first question I needed to answer was, how in the world could snoring exercises cure vertigo?